Hi friends, what's this simple dialog box? This is uh, our name itself says it's simple dialog. So anytime we want input in a string or integer or a float, we can just ask just like one line of code and a dialog box is open. Now I'm just entering uh, my name here or anything, any text I am entering, I can so pass on to the window. We'll learn about this simple dialog. This is our uh, standard template, a simple Kinter window with a size 410, 160, one we have written title and with a blank window. Now to this, we'll import first tk, sorry, uh, tk enter, import simple dialog. Fine. So this is uh, now available. Now inside this, what I will do, let me just uh, create one integer here my underscore uh, sorry i'll just create a variable this is hold my value what the user has entered and that is why i can further process it so i am saying simple dialog dot ask integer so i am expecting a user to enter a integer so there are three types integer float and a string so we are asking first with the integer what we'll say we'll say input now we'll say this is the message what you will go input one input one integer or whatever you want to say give it now what I again I am saying is what's my parent so this is by default that but let's give that parent is my underscore w my underscore w you can see it at line number three we have declared it my parent window and most of the script you will find it as root but we use it a different way fine so that's all as the name suggests uh, we can uh, this particular it's, it must be a simple so one line of code now my underscore i holds a integer value so if i want i can print it also it's a thing or let's just see how the window works so print or take it to my for the thing one line of code is enough i'm just saving and running it let's see how the windows are opened up here it is actually behind that it has gone here it is so input one integer net i can put it as uh, say 56 it is go because I have not displayed anything. Okay, it's uh, in my console. It is printing 56. So the same thing. We, I can take it to the window and do further processing. One thing, let's understand. What happens if I do a mistake here or I enter something else other than an integer? Let's just run it once again. Here it is. Behind this, it is there. Let me take it. Now I am entering A, B, C, D. What happens? It will as usual not an integer please try again so it take i have not written any code for this it takes care of that so i tell i let's enter a 23 one integer and close it so we'll next let's see other options let's take a float value now so i can use the method ask float here i am just changing that particular one input float rest of the things remain same here okay because i am not asking a integer i am just changing the variable name here float so i am expecting a float now from the user let's just run this here it is and the background it is there input a float so i can just take it 4.5 fine i'll it, it is okay it will it is available it has printed me in the console now what happened let me close this open it again and enter one integer value say i am entering five will there be any error no it can still take but it will print as it will take it as 5.0 now let me just close this again open it and run enter a string this time i am expecting a b c say a b c what happens now not a float point value please try again okay so these i have not written anything co uh, extra code for that only one line that line number six you can see so it expect me to enter a float it will accept an integer also because but it will give me 7.0 so now let's close this and move and take a string now ask string so input string so i am expecting a string now so i just i'll change the name of the variables I am printing it my, to my console. We'll see. In, subsequently, we'll see in printing it to the window also. Uh, okay, let's run this. It is there, and I am just in inputting a. See what happens this time if I'll give a integer or a float. 
no pro there should not be a message because these will be considered as string variables so string inputs so my this variable will take the data type or take as what as a string only even if i enter a integer or a float also let me just try to enter a name here it's a string only it will take it fine it has printed to the console also let me just close this once again open this and this time i am trying to enter a float so 4.56 but note that it will accept it there should not be any error fine it has printed also but it has considered it to a string now all these thing whatever we are doing it we are doing it in a uh, on load means moment the script starts the window is opened up but in a real life that will not happen either you have to click a button or some function inside a uh, event we have to keep take the input and that input also will try to display it in a window next we'll try that let's create a higher size font font one this is just for display purpose only equal to a tuple i am giving times now the value i am giving is 30 a font size this is and normal you can give bold italic anything you want so now i am getting a string now this string will try to dis display in a label so what i am doing l1 equal to tk i am creating a label label where i am putting my underscore w now slightly given the higher font whatever i have used a declared here at the top that i am associating the font for equal font one now i am saying text equal to now what i will say here welcome slightly space now plus i am adding now my s whatever the string i will get it that i will display it here now let's place it on the grid l1 dot grid so i row equal to zero and column equal to let's give zero then pad x instead of flushing with the left edge i am giving pad x so from the left side gap pad y means from the top edge and bottom both sides i am giving 20 gap so that's all let's run this and this time <clears throat> whatever the inputs are there we are displaying it so let's just run this fine it is here now i am saying say plus two net fine click ok welcome plus two net so whatever message i am giving it has gone there but now let's that's fine but what happens this all this dialog box or a simple dialog which opens up as soon as the script starts will now create some event driven we'll do some changes here to the script now i'll remove this print and instead of a label we'll use a entry so i'm just changing the name it's not required but better to identify it as an entry entry so i am giving it a entry box my w font one now here instead of text it will be text variable and i am giving the name my str fine so this is the okay this part is also not required now i'll give some width width is let's give me give 15 okay now my str is not declared so i will be declaring it uh, my str is a string variable so i am connected it to my entry my str equal to tk dot string var fine now my entry is over now what happens i will just add one event to this entry so whenever the focus is on the uh, particular entry that time i will say focus in now the once the focus is on particular entry box then this function will trigger which function my entry i am going to write the code for that so here i will say define define now i am saying my entry it will receive lot of arguments so i am just sorry sorry here i have to give star so whatever parameters it receives receives so arguments now what i will do instead of going there i will cut this line and paste it here so i am just reducing the display string name whatever your name you want to give now here i have to give a okay inside the function now instead of storing it a variable because it's a string variable my str so there are two important methods of any string variable get and set so get is to read and set is to set the value so now i will set the value for the string variable because this string variable is connected to my entry box so here i will say uh, my str this is my string variable dot set because i am 
setting the value not getting the value so set here i will close this so inside this my str set what it will do it will open the dialog box ask for the name whatever name the user has entered that will be connected to the entry box so let's just save this and run and i will give slightly gap here so you can understand this is a string variable up to this entry and this is the by i am binding the entry to the on focus event at line number 14 that is the important which triggers this particular function now let me just run this yeah here it is the entry box is there i am just clicking on the entry box here what's the name so whatever i enter here that will pass on to here that's all. The simple dialog is as simple as it is. So it's a one line of code. We open the dialog box, handle the type of data we are handling. If it is an integer, it takes integer only. Otherwise, throw as a message error on those things. String, we can take it. And this is somewhat similar to your message box where you are take it. We have more control on this. So this is very simple as the name says. It's a simple dialog. So that's all, friends. And uh, one request, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we uh, add new new tutorials. We frequently do that and ask your friends also to share with your friends and ask them to subscribe also. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.